Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another edition of MJ Every Day. A little bit of motivation for you guys today, a little bit of lifestyle. To be honest with you, I'm not really too sure what category today's episode falls under, but I'm shooting the episode anyway. Today's episode is about balance, how to achieve balance in your life and how do you you know, balance your health and fitness aspirations or goals with your career or business goals, with your private life goals, with your family goals, with all of the different parts of your life that you have going on. How do you achieve balance or what's the best way to try and try and get balance, try and you know, juggle all the balls that you have in your life. And I'm shooting this episode today, guys, because I've been getting a lot of questions about it in particular in, in the DMs and a bunch of different social media platforms. People asking you know, about this concept, about this concept of balance and how I achieve it in my life and how I recommend they should achieve it. And then I actually wrote a, a, a written interview uh, for a magazine a couple of days ago that asked me this, this question in particular, you know, it was with regards to my IFBB pro status and how I balance all the different parts of my life um, and achieve success in all the different parts of my life while, while maintaining that balance. So I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about my personal experience with, with balance and, and how I, view balance, how I perceive balance and, and, and kind of how I've gone about achieving balance in my life, um, you know, over the years. And I'm not, not saying that I've got it a hundred percent correct. I know for certain that I don't, but I've definitely figured out a way to be able to balance all the different areas of my life and, and be able to, to achieve relative success in all those different areas. And this is going back to, you know, back to when I was a, a teenager, effectively, you know, when I pretty much when I started university was when I started having a lot of different things on my plate. I go back to when I first started uni, I was studying, I was training, I was working, I was running massive Joes, you know, right up until all the different challenges and all the different bits and pieces of my life right up into where I am now and all the, the corporate responsibilities that I have now running a business the size of Massive Joe's with the workforce the size that we have to my uh, IFBB professional athlete responsibilities that I now have as a, as a professional athlete to my private life responsibilities now being married to my wife Asha to my family life responsibilities. There's a whole lot of things that are, that are going on in my life at the moment and there have been a whole lot of things going on in my life that I've always consistently been trying to juggle, you know, since since effectively I was a, a late teenager. So I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about my experience. Um, I will disclaim one thing straight up because I know that a lot of you who watch these videos have children. I obviously don't have children, so that's one part of life that I can't talk about from personal experience, and that's one uh, one part of life that I really have no experience in being able to balance with everything else. But I am going to talk to you guys about my personal experiences with all of the, the the different parts of my life that I do try and balance and have had to do, you know, for for more than a decade now. So. The one mistake that I see a lot of people make when they think about balance in life, work-life balance, uh, when they think about balancing their health and fitness goals with their family life, whatever it is, is most people think about it in a micro sense. So they think about it on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, I've got this, you know, how am I gonna balance all of my responsibilities and all of my aspirations and all of my goals and all of the different areas of my life today? How am I going to tick my health and fitness box, tick my career business box, tick my family private life box, tick my, uh, you know, whatever boxes it may be. How am I going to do that today or tomorrow or the next day? Everyone generally thinks about it on a very micro scale and that's when it can become overwhelming because you're, you're trying to fit a lot of different things into a very specific short time period. And a lot of the times it's just not gonna work. There's, you, you just can't prioritize enough to be able to get everything done within that short period of time. So I think first and foremost, if you have that perception of balance, it, it is not in my opinion the correct perception of balance. What I've learned over the years is to take a much more macro approach to how I, how I look at balance, how I perceive balance, take a much more higher level, bigger picture view to balance and understand that there's gonna be periods of time where I'm gonna have to devote more of my time, more of my effort, more of my energy 
into my business or career goals. Then there's gonna be time where I have to devote my effort, my energy, my time into my health and fitness goals during a contest prep, for example. Then there's gonna be times when I'm gonna to have to invest all of my effort, my energy, everything I've got into my private life. I got married last year. Obviously, everything that I had went into that at that particular period of time. And I think once you take this macro approach and you understand that very rarely is everything in your life gonna be in perfect harmony, gonna be in perfect balance, and there's gonna be periods of time where things are, you know, quote unquote, out of balance because you're having to devote more of your time, effort, and energy into one part of your life for whatever reason, you know, maybe you, you you might have some family issues that you have to deal with, or maybe you're preparing for a contest, so your health and fitness goals are gonna take priority, or perhaps you're trying to get a promotion at work, so your career goals are gonna take priority, or perhaps you've got some business issues that you have to deal with, so your business is gonna take priority, and it's gonna throw, for a period of time, everything else out of balance because it's really going to start pulling on your time, your effort, your energy that you need to invest in that particular period of your life. But it's okay because over the long term, everything balances out. Um, it doesn't balance out automatically. You definitely have to put effort into it. But I think that first and foremost, taking that higher level perception, that bigger picture view, that macro view of balance really removes the overwhelming factor of trying to get everything in harmony at all times on a very micro scale. So that's the first thing that, that, that I think that you guys really need to understand. The second thing is perfect harmony with all the different areas of your life is very, very rare. I'd even go so much as to call it a bit of a myth. Um, it's very difficult to achieve perfect harmony on a micro scale at all times. And I think that a lot of people fall into the trap of using it as an excuse or using it as a cop out and not going 120, not going ham on a particular period of their life when they have to, to achieve success in that particular period of their life. You know, you take, for example, somebody who's, uh, you know, doing a contest prep is a great example. If you're preparing for a contest, but you're still trying to achieve balance in all areas of your life, you're not gonna do well in the contest because it demands that you give it everything you've got. It demands all of your effort, your energy, your investment, all of your, all of your, you know, not all of your time, but a big majority of your time needs to be invested. And I think that if you kind of are doing that, but at the same time trying to achieve balance on a micro scale, it becomes a cop out for not going as hard as you need to go with that particular goal. And it applies to all aspects of your life. If you're having relationship problems with your partner, with your wife, your husband, your girlfriend, your, your boyfriend, and that demands that you go 120, you go hard, you give everything you've got, but you don't because you're trying to achieve balance or harmony on a micro scale, it becomes a cop out, it becomes an excuse. And that's kind of why I think, you know, that, that, that balance on a micro scale is a myth because it, it, it's very easy to use that as an excuse to get out of putting effort into different areas of your life that, that you need to at a particular point in time. So I want you guys to just, when you think about balance, and if you've hit me up in the DMs, and I know a bunch of you have, um, and if you guys read this article in this, this magazine, um, and you're thinking about balance, think about it on a macro scale. Think about it on a, on a, on a, a very long time period. Think about it from a high level perspective and understand that there's gonna be periods of time when you're gonna have to invest in one part of your life that is gonna throw all the other parts out of balance or out of harmony, but it's gonna be for a short period of time. And then you can, once that, once you've dealt with that, once you've achieved that goal, once you've, you, you've devoted what you needed to devote to that particular period of your life, then you can flip it and you can move to another period of your life. And then you can move to another period of your life. And from a macro scale, everything balances out in, in the long run. And I really think that you know, if you're a busy person, if you've got a lot on your plate, if you're trying to achieve a lot of different goals in different areas of your life, taking that understanding, taking that perception and going as hard as you possibly can for a 
specific period of time in a different area of your life for a given period of time, you're not only gonna achieve balance from a macro level over a long period of time, but you're also gonna be able to achieve goals in all different areas of your life at a particular time because you're giving it 120%, which a lot of people are too afraid to do because they're too afraid of, of, of throwing off that balance, throwing off that harmony on the micro level. Guys, that's a wrap for today's episode of MJ Every Day, how to achieve balance or how to look at balance in your life and, and you know the, the things that I've learned over the more than 10 years of trying to achieve balance in my life. Not saying I've got it 100%, but I'm saying that I have been able to, over the long term, achieve balance in my life, and I have also been able to crush some pretty cool goals in different areas of my life, and I guess the proof is in the pudding, so to speak. Guys, hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Turn your post notifications on, both on your mobile, your cell phone, and your desktop PC, so you don't miss a beat when it comes to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel. Till tomorrow, I'm coming to you from massivejoes.com.